Hey guys, Brent here, bringing your own tools, aka BYOT. Thank you for joining me, and today we have a very special BYOT because we hit the one year mark. Yes, we've been on YouTube for one year, and it's rock and rolling better than ever. And But guess what? We are going back to BYOT number one because I've had a lot of questions on how is that tile holding up? Yes, the tile that I painted, how is it holding up? Well, I will show you how it's holding up. Let's get started. First off, material check. Bare porch and patio floor paint enamel with paintbrush. A bucket, TSP, and a scotch pipe pad. And of course, some trusty old painter's tape. Ah uh, yes, back to where it all began. A painted floor, and in all surprise, this has lasted a full year. Now it has been a little scruffed up here and there, a few dings, but in all reality, the vast majority of all this paint is still intact. There's just a few spots, just like this little guy, that have come off, but in all reality, that is very easy to fix. First off, we want to get any loose debris that is on the surface itself off first. Get a broom, sweep it up, as well as vacuum up the remainder. Grab a bucket filled with warm water and your trusty TSP. I pour in approximately a tablespoon of TSP and then stir it around making sure that the TSP is fully dissolved. I then take my scotch bite pad and soak it in the solution and then start scrubbing away the tile. Just remember to not forget your trusty rubber gloves because of the fact that you don't want to soak your hands in the solution just a bit rough on the skin, let's we'll just say that. I then take a leftover towel that I really don't care about and wipe away the excess and you will see the dirt and grime that is left. As you can see here, there's quite a lot of grease and grime that is being pulled off these tiles after a year. Yeah, yama. Next step is to take your painter's tape and start taping off the edges of your floor and other areas you want to protect. I feel like I've said this before. Maybe in another BYT. Oh yeah, BYT number one. That's right, I did this already. In any case, taking these protective measures in the beginning helps out in the long run, trust me. Next is to take your trusty paint and start spreading. Now we are using the same paint that we did in BYT number one, the Bear Porch and Patio Floor Paint Enamel. It still is a great product and it holds up quite well over time. As you can see, this floor is astonishingly in great condition for the fact that it is a front door walkway area, so it's getting heavy traffic and it has been a full year since I've done really anything to this floor other than just vacuuming it. Yeah, I'm a guy. I don't do a lot of cleaning. Sorry. Now for the purpose of this project, I'm only applying one top coat because of the fact that I already have a base layer. And with one top coat, it turns out perfectly and looks brand new. So just keep that in mind. Now in BYOT number one, I did indicate the end that I was thinking about actually applying a white border around the tile just to give it a bit of a pop. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply that border whether you like the look of it or not. So I start off by applying a couple small layers of tape around the border of the tile. This will allow me an equal space between the edge of the tile and two inches in. This will allow you an easy way to get a border line that is consistent all the way through. Just remember, at the ends you need a sharp razor blade to have a nice crisp line. In any case, please know that there are plenty of ways out there that you can do this type of border. This, I find, is just the easiest way to do so. It's nice that you don't have to have any more supplies other than a piece of tape to line out this whole border. Because you know what? Sometimes the easier way to do things is the better way of doing things. Yep, that's a line I stole from BOT number one. Booyah! Check it out. Now one step I highly suggest taking is actually applying a very thin layer of your base paint to the tape edge itself. This way you can avoid bleed over when you apply your secondary color for your border. Now you may think this step is unnecessary, but trust me, it is a very quick and easy process and it will save you in the long run. Once that is dry, go ahead and take your secondary color and start applying your border. Now for this border slash accent strip, I'm actually just applying a nice white border around the edge. This is simplistic and it's nice and crisp and it's, you know, basically goes with everything. So we'll try it, see how it looks, and hopefully it turns out. And guess what? If we don't like it, we can always paint over it. Yes, that's me whispering. We can paint over the paint and change it. 
Okay, sorry, it's late. Now after you apply your first coat to your border, you're gonna have to go back and apply a second coat most likely. It's not gonna take it very long it's because of the fact that the majority of all the work is gonna be done in that first coat, but making sure you have a nice solid border that is fully saturated is very important, especially for the overall look. Now once your second coat is dry, go ahead and start removing your tape. Just make sure when you're removing the tape from the tile itself that you pull back in a 45 degree angle and smoothly remove it. In all reality, it doesn't have to be exactly 45 degrees, but if you don't remove it properly, you could potentially have a bit of a pull out from the actual tile itself, and that's the last thing you want at this point. You want a nice crisp edge, and the slower you go here, the better. So keep that in mind. My oh my, that is one crisp edge and one beautiful, sexy beast of a tile floor. Oh yeah. And there you have it, episode number 21 of BOAT done, or should I just say 1.5? In any case, it was pretty fun going back to the very beginning of this YouTube channel. It's crazy that it's been already a year since I started this channel, and guess what? We are growing from leaps and bounds because we have just hit 3,000 subscribers and over 300,000 views, and that's all because of you guys. So thank you for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe to this channel, and please let me know what you'd like me to do in the next video. I might do it. In any case, thank you for your time, and catch you next time. That damn plumber's crack just keeps on getting in the way in my videos. Never again.